Imagine living your retirement just minutes from incredible beaches or owning a vacation home in an area dotted with charming historic towns filled with friendly, welcoming people, and all for about half the cost of living in the United States. In this video, I'm going to show you six cheap properties in the south of Italy that are waiting for you to come and write your next chapter of life. So keep watching. If we haven't met, I'm Tommy from TravelTirement.com. I'm building a treasure trove of resources, courses, and community for people like you who dream of retirement or owning property in Italy or France. Join me and over 3,000 others on my weekly newsletter. It's free at TravelTirement.com. Today's properties are all located in the province of Lecce, which is at the very tip of the heel of the boot of Italy. This is an area known for good weather year round, crystal clear water, and incredible food. I'm gonna start with the cheapest property and then we'll work our way up to the most expensive. This first property has those incredible stone vaulted ceilings, which you'll see in just a second. But before we get to the property photos, let's take a look around the area of Rufano. Rufano is located right in the middle of the peninsula, but even so, it's no more than a 20 to 25 minute drive to some incredibly beautiful beaches and crystal clear water. This property is located right in town. You can see it's surrounded by more than a dozen highly ranked restaurants. There are also plenty of bars to wet your whistle after a nice day at the beach or walking around the town. This area also has plenty of hospitals and medical facilities. The closest it looks like is about a 14 minute drive away from the town. I also see a lot of different options for groceries, including supermarkets like Conad and Lidl, which are right in town. Before we look at the property photos and I show you the price of this place, let's take a look at a couple other cool spots I found right in town. One neat area is this beautiful piazza. I believe it's called Piazza Francesca. And I just love these kind of piazzas in town. You can see the chairs stacked up here. So I'm assuming there is a restaurant. Yes, I can see I'm standing right next to a restaurant here, very highly rated, where they probably put you know, tables and chairs out here. You can see the umbrellas, just a great little spot to gather with your family or friends or make new friends out here. It's terrific. If I keep turning around, you can also see there's a little, looks like a hidden kind of piazza back here for you to explore. Just very cool. Another neat area I saw is um, right by this cafe where it says cafe lounge and drink, which are two of my favorite things. And if you turn to the left here, you can again see they have the table and chairs set up outside. Let me go this way, just one click um, in this small little play area. And you can see they also have a spot to entertain your kids or grandkids while you have a beverage. The last place before we look at the property photos is this restaurant called The Old Fox, which you can see has a nice outdoor seating area. And it looks like some delicious charcuterie boards. And the reviews say that their pizza is outstanding. Now that you've gotten a feel for what this town looks like and what some of the local amenities are, let's go take a look at the property photos. As you already saw, one of the things I love about this area of Italy is it's very common to find these beautiful vaulted stone ceilings in some of the older buildings. And this one has some incredible ceilings. There's definitely some cosmetic renovation work that you would probably wanna do, but everything looks perfect from a structural standpoint. And as you'll see, it's a quite a sizable place for the price, which I'll share with you in a moment. It also comes with a garage, uh, which obviously you could use if you wanted to buy a car or you obviously have the option of maybe changing this, turning this into more livable space for the house if you wanted to. This is just another angle looking into the garage. From the garage, you take a flight of stairs to get up to the living area. You see again in this picture, the vaulted ceilings, they have it painted obviously or plastered over, but I can almost guarantee you, you could hire somebody to just basically peel off this plaster and clean it up and have that beautiful stone ceiling in all the areas of the house. The nice thing about the high ceilings is it, it gives them a larger feel. And especially with these windows, you can see how much natural light is coming in. The building itself is quite long. It, it, even though that front area you could see was kind of thin, 
it goes back quite a ways, so the, the square footage is, is actually pr quite good. Here's another room with those gorgeous vaulted ceilings, and you can see the tile on the bottom it looks fine to me. The walls, obviously, you would need to um, have somebody come in and either paint or refinish yourself. Um, again, I would highly recommend tearing off the plaster on the roof to get the stone exposed. Another gorgeous picture, and you can see just how large this space is. This room has a nice loft area. Here's a room maybe in the back of the building, but you can see it does have a fireplace. And I think that far wall on the right is where you would put in a kitchen. And you know what a fan I am of patios. This one not only has a small patio in the back that's private, but you can also get up on the roof and put some furniture up here and have a nice sitting area uh, with a view over the front. From this picture, you can see the property here, and you can, like I said, it goes all the way from the front here, all the way back, this entire building, and that little patio uh, was in the back, as well as, of course, the, the roof. And this property can be yours for just 72,000 euros, which is about 77,000 US dollars. This next property is an apartment located in this building, um, not too far from Rafano, where we just were. Before I show you the property pictures, again, let's go look around the town and see what's nearby. The apartment is located in the small town of Morciano de Luca, which is much closer to the beach than the last one we saw. To get to an absolutely gorgeous stretch of coastline from this property will only take you 10 minutes by car. This town, again, has some very highly ranked restaurants right in town, a walking, easy walking distance from this property. If I zoom out, you can see there are also tons of restaurants right along the coastline, um, anywhere from seven to say 10 minutes away with gorgeous views. Being so close to Rufano, this area also has service from the same hospitals and medical facilities, probably a 20 to 30 minute drive away. Here's a little site I found in town. It looks like a castle and uh, I can see a sign here that's pointing me to a piazza where you can, um, it looks like, do some sightseeing. If I turn around also, you'll see there is a pizzeria right here. Again, four and a half stars. And also, when I do these little Google Maps um, street views, I often like to come to a corner like this and just look at the signs to see what, uh, what kind of things they have listed. Um, obviously, there's a police station. Um, a, the Castello, which is the castle I just mentioned, a pharmacy, which is uh, nearby, which is always a nice thing to have because pharmacies often don't just, it's not like a drugstore in the United States necessarily where they just sell products. You can also get some very um, simple medical care taken care of there. Now let's go take a look at the property photos for this second property. One thing I like about this property listing is the photos are terrific. Sometimes you can get photos that look like they were taken with a 10-year-old cell phone with no lights on. Anyway, not the case for this one. So here again is a shot of the outside of the building. I will say, in case you have this question right up front, the property's on the first floor, so not on the ground floor. It is accessible by stairs and a lift. So there is an elevator in case you're getting a little older like me. It's not a brand new building, but it does say that it was uh, renovated or extended in 2007. Uh, you can see the elevator right there. It is certainly a much newer or more modern building than a lot of the ones I show. So here we are inside what looks like the living room. You can see a lot of uh, bright light uh, coming from the, looks like maybe sliding glass doors here. I will say the listing does say all of this, all of the furnishings are included except for some small personal items. So when I tell you the price, you're going to be blown away that everything you see in these photos is included. You can see the kitchen looks in good shape. I, you know, I don't know how old that range um, and oven is, but everything looks functional to me. Again, perfectly livable. I see an air conditioning unit on the wall. So again, something that's ready to be bought and moved into immediately and then worry about renovations later. Here's a little hallway leading off of that room where we just were. You can see the bathroom on the left and I see a washing machine on the right, which again, I, it says all this stuff is included. 
The bathroom looks nice, very clean. I love the tile. Again, it's not um, some gaudy tile from you know back in the 60s or 70s, which you sometimes get. This bedroom looks very nice. I can't tell exactly what size bed that is, queen size. Anyway, it looks like you could definitely put a king in there and just look at the size from the foot of the bed to this uh, these shelves on the left-hand side. Again, it's a, it's a good sized room. Here's the same room, just looking back towards the little hallway. You have your own covered veranda where you can obviously they have chairs and a little table out here. You can sit and sip some wine in the evening and watch the sunset. It's not a sea view necessarily, but it's still a nice view of the city. And being this high up too will also um, give you a better chance of having some nice breezes. And of course, given where it is in this part of Italy, you're not far from sites like this or like this, which we'll actually come down to a little bit later in this video. It really is a gorgeous part of Italy. And this gorgeous, fully renovated and furnished apartment can be yours for just 80,000 euros, which is about 85,000 US dollars. By the way, all of the property listing links are down in the description as well as other info mentioned in this video. This third property is located just a five minute drive away from that last one in the small village of Barbarano del Capo. And it's still just a 10 to 20 minute drive to some absolutely gorgeous beaches and crystal clear water in this tip of the boot of Italy. Once again, you can see a handful of restaurants that are right in town and walkable. I also wanted to share this beautiful little piazza I found in this town. And you can see they have lights um, set up. I don't know if this was during a holiday, but you can see they enjoy celebrating. Look at this beautiful little open area with tables and chairs. It what made me chuckle was you can see this group of guys mostly um, out here and they're waving at the Google Street View camera as it goes by. You can see they're having beers and just enjoying themselves. Looks like a, a very nice crowd. Now let's have a look at the property photos and I'll show you the price. I know at first glance, when you see this one, you kind of go, ew, like what, what did they do? But I promise you the exterior here on the front, this is purely cosmetic, can be um, scraped away and redone. Just look at the building to the right. Um, you can get a finish more like that, something a little more modern and attractive, to be honest. But this one also has some great features, kind of like the first property that I absolutely love. One you can see here is the vaulted ceilings. And the second is this beautiful tile um, on the ground here. I'm, I don't think there's a close up of it, but um, I've shown that in some of my previous videos. It is just gorgeous tile, simply cleaning it up, maybe refinishing it. Um, it would absolutely pop and, and come back to life. And as with the first property, these uh, vaulted ceilings, same thing. You could absolutely have someone come in, tear off the plaster or paint and expose those beautiful stone vaults. This tile is not my favorite, I'll admit, but again, you have options to either cover it with some um, you know, throw rugs or eventually you know, pull it up and, and redo it. This is quite a large property for to be in the center of town. Also, I think it said it was 185 square meters, so that's close to 2,000 square feet. I mean, my mind just wanders when I see a picture like this. Um, imagine it with the stone vaulted ceiling, maybe even expose some of the stone in the wall, um, have nice uh, table and chairs, put a TV against that wall on the right. You, could, you can start to imagine what this could be. And for the price, hopefully you'll have enough margin that you can build in a, you know, a renovation budget and get it done. This looks to be the kitchen area and maybe on the left here, the place for the washer and dryer. Anyway, obviously that's something you'd have to budget for is um, the kitchen equipment. Here's another gorgeous room with those super high vaulted ceilings. You see the um, original fireplace there also. This one also has a, an outdoor area in the back. I don't remember seeing pictures of the roof, like that you could get up on the roof, but I would be shocked if you couldn't um, have access to the roof somehow. This one also comes with a little bit of a garden um, that would need to be cleaned up, but you do have some actual space to um, have some greenery. And the price of this property 
is the same as the last apartment, 80,000 euros or about 85,000 US dollars. All right, this next one is really something special. So I have the property marked with the, the red pen you see there in the middle of the map. And the reason I did that is I'm just gonna zoom out one click and I want you to see how close this is to the water. So you look at this. This is the one that I mentioned um, in the thumbnail. It is literally a seven minute walk from this property to some of the most beautiful beaches in this area. And of course, if that beautiful beach is just a seven minute walk, then you know all of these restaurants. Here's one six minute walk, a five minute walk, seven minute walk, eight minute walk. All of these restaurants have, I think, views of the sea, obviously a lot of fresh seafood. Um, but again, the nice thing is once you got here, you could pretty much walk around the town for the most part. Let me show you two other quick things that I found that I think you'll like before I show you the property photos. The first is I'm jumping on street view and um, in the distance there is one of the most beautiful beaches in this area. But I wanted to show you this marina. This is again, I don't know, a six or seven minute walk from the property. Um, you see they have like a nice promenade. You can walk along sidewalks. You see people out here um, chatting. But this is, I believe it's called the Torrevedo, um, this ancient tower, I, I maybe a lighthouse um, type thing. Anyway, just a site to come see. And again, easily walkable from this property. The other thing I found is this um, road, which is kind of up on a, a prominent high position. And so the marina where I was just showing you is right here. Um, and then that tower, it would be behind this, these trees on the left. But if I pan around, again, you get a great view of this coastline. See the beautiful blue uh, clear water. And you can see there is those gorgeous beaches I was talking about. You could certainly walk there from the property, but I, it's also probably no more than a you know three or four minute bike ride if you wanted to do that way. And the property is located right, I think, down here amongst these properties right here. Now let's take a look at the property photos. All right, this one is amazing. So it is this property right here. And in the background, you can see the where the little um, marina I was that I just showed you. And the tower is to the left. You just It's just out of sight. But you can see how close this is. You would walk up the road to your right here turn left and go straight down to the beach. There we go, there's a, a better picture. You can see the property right down here and the tower in the distance and where I was showing you that, um, that view from above looking down on the town would have been to, the, to your left. There's another shot like I showed you with the beaches in the distance. It looks like in the front of the house there is room to possibly park a car Looks like they have kind of um, created a curb so you can um, put a car right there in the front, in front of the gate. And here's the front area where you have lots of living space. Part of it is covered. You can see um, this uh, area right in front. Obviously, you could put a uh, table and chairs out here with an umbrella if you wanted to. Here, we're just looking from the front um, door back towards that road. This property is completely renovated, as you can see. This listing says that it is sold partially furnished and obviously you would want to talk to the agent about what that means. In some circumstances that means um, it just includes like the uh, appliances and light fixtures and things like that. But in other circumstances it could mean some actual furniture also. This one, like I said, completely renovated, perfect shape. There's zero you would have to do to move in here, obviously, except potentially buy furniture if it doesn't come with it. I love the arches in the walkways going from room to room. I see what looks like a pellet heater uh, there straight ahead. And on the left, um, you can see on the by the roof there, air conditioning units. Uh, this is the kitchen area and it, you can see it's pretty tight. I don't know, you might have to um, talk to a geometra or an architect to see if there's any way to make this a little bit bigger. Um, but again, given this proximity to the sea, I, I wouldn't let this be a deal breaker. Here's just another angle of that kitchen. Here's the bathroom. Um, you can see everything looks clean, up to date, beautiful tile in the shower there um, at the end. 
here is the bedroom. Um, again, tile floors with a door that goes out to a little veranda uh, so you can get some fresh air if you wanted to or just um, sit out there and read a book. It, what a great spot. And you know how I love an outdoor veranda or sitting area. You can see this one, you have a nice uh, privacy wall there. But the thing that sells it for me is coming in just a second. I'm so excited to show it to you. And here it is. If you walk up these steps, basically the size of the entire property, you have a, an outdoor patio. And just look at the view you have of the sea from right there. I would absolutely be spending most of my time out here, weather permitting. It is just gorgeous. These people is, have obviously made use of this upper area. Um, one thing you could do, you could put a hot tub up here instead of in the front. Um, again, just to make it in case you, you wanted to rent it out, that would be a terrific amenity to have. And here is your view from the edge of the roof looking down into the sea. And here's another pic of that um, Torovedo, the tower. And marina which again just a five seven minute walk from where you could live and this gorgeous property fully renovated with air conditioning and that rooftop terrace can be yours for just 132,000 euros which is about 141,000 dollars all right this fourth property is located just down the beach from that one we just looked at so we were right down here, um, kind of close to the tower, which is down here. Um, this property is located right up here. It says it's 300 meters from the beach. And again, this is one of the best beaches in this area. You know, there are tons of restaurants and bars and shops and everything in this area. So I'm not going to go into that. Let's go straight and look at the property photos. This one again is offered by the Salento agency and it's this property you see on the right and if i were to turn to the right here this road that it's on it goes straight down to the beach it is i mean you could almost see it um, on google street view you have a nice outdoor patio area in the front to put a table and chairs here is a look at maybe the kitchen in the distance and a living room in the front area this listing definitely says it is uh, it does include all of the furniture in these property photos a little dining room area. You can see um, the French doors opened up to let in the light and some fresh air. An easy walk after your day on the beach to come back and have a refreshing beverage, catch up on a little sleep, you get a nap before you headed back down for dinner in the evening. Here's one bedroom, again, relatively small bedroom, but for a, you know, a beachy um, getaway, this is perfect. A second bedroom and the property is on two floors. Here's a bathroom and you can see nice and clean tile. Everything looks in uh, good shape. This shower, I mean, it looks large here because of the wide angle camera, um, but it look, does look like it's one of those corner um, curved showers. Not huge by American standards, but usable and you could always upgrade if you wanted to. Another view of one of the bedrooms and looking across into the bathroom we were just in. And this is the second bathroom. It does uh, say it's a two bedroom, two bath property. And here's a nice feature of this house. Even though it's not, you know, beachfront, you do have this um, lovely veranda that kind of goes the entire length of the house on one side and some nice greenery trees um, nearby. So it really gives you that tropical feel. And here we're just looking back the opposite way and it's hard to see um, in this picture, but this is where you can see down the street in the distance, the, you can actually see the, the sea. I do like that this real estate agency took the time to put in some of the beautiful landscapes and geography nearby, obviously the beach. How about wake up, waking up every morning and being able to go down and walk on this beach? Just a gorgeous, gorgeous area. And this incredible property can be yours for just 150,000 euros, which at the time of this video is $160,000. We're coming up to our final property, which is absolutely stunning. But before we get there, when I'm done, I want to make sure down in the comments, tell me which one of these six properties you like the best, whether it's for the cost or the views or whatever you liked the best. All right, if your budget was a little healthier, um, this is just a stunning property. I mean, you can see it sitting here on the hills overlooking the beautiful sea. 
and the beautiful beach that we were just nearby, you can see off to the right there. This one does come with a little plot of land. So there's some room you have if you wanted to do some expansions on the building or just turn some of this into more usable space. We're still in that same small town of Torovedo and you can see the behind where it says Salento there. Um, that's the little marina with the, the tower that we looked at earlier. And the property is right here. Here's just a different angle. And again, you can see where the property is here on the right. Um, and you can actually see the tower right there. This is looking from the other side and you can see it perched. The property is perched right here on the left overlooking the beautiful, beautiful sea. With these views and the proximity, this would be a terrific, um, not only a vacation home, but I'm guessing you could demand quite a good income for renting this out as a, a short-term rental. All right, so here's, as you come in, um, it does have like um, pavers for the car. Of course, you could build a, you know, a covered car port if you wanted to, I assume. I love the palm trees in the distance, uh, beautiful flowers growing up, uh, this shaded area in the front. Similar to the property, like two properties ago that we looked at, the, you have stairs that go up to the roof and the entire roof area of this property is available for use. Here's the view from that little patio in the front with the shaded awning. I'm guessing the construction is not very old, but it is made to look old. Beautiful sandstone, matching tiles. It's just in terrific, terrific shape. Here's the perfect spot for you and your sweetie to sit out, have a nice glass of wine, get some sun after your day of adventure on the water. And this is the view from the corner of the roof. You can see it just gets you up a little bit higher, you get a better look of the, of the sea, and you can see that beach in the distance. Here is a hot tub under the awning here, and you can double check me, look in the description um, at the property listing, but I'm pretty sure it says all of the furniture, again, is included with the price of this property, which I will share with you in a minute. Here is the kitchen and dining room. Um, it does say this is a, I think a three bedroom and two bath. And I do see in the top right hand corner of this picture, there are air conditioners included with this property. There, you can get a little better look of it there. Here is one bedroom. I think that is a double bed. And then you see it has its own uh, bathroom there to the left. There's a better angle of it. Bathroom is very nice. I like the motif, very beachy. And here's another bedroom, which looks like they have twin beds, um, but that I would assume you have enough room to put probably a queen size bed in there. King might be a little tight. Nice natural light coming in from the windows, which you could obviously, when the weather's is good, open up and get a, a nice breeze coming through. And here's the third bedroom. Again, twin beds pushed together, which again is a common thing in Europe. Um, but you could certainly put a, you know, queen size bed in there, maybe fit a king size if you pushed it against, you know, a corner. And here is the second bathroom. But again, for me, th this is what makes a property like this, this incredible outdoor area. I mean, it's just massive. And again, put table and chairs up here, maybe on one side, um, put a, you know, barbecue grill on the other you could just turn this into an amazing entertaining area. And here's the view of that tower and the marina like we looked at earlier. And it's kind of hard to see, but the this house is right up here just above the, um, the tower. So that's how close you are. And this incredible property can be yours for 390,000 euros, which is about 418,000 US dollars which I know sounds expensive, but that's still below the median price of a house in the United States. So I would still call that cheap. Speaking of cheap houses, if you love cheap houses in Italy, then you should watch this video next.